Hello everyone and welcome to another Mondays with Michelle video. This week's topic, how to capture all or part of the screen using an iPad or a Windows PC. We'll also look at Microsoft Word's built-in screen capture tools. Let's get started. So what I'm going to show you first is how to do a screen capture on Windows using the snipping tool that is built in. And if I type snipping, this is what the tool looks like. You will get this little dialog box pop up. And if we click new for new snip, it looks like it kind of puts a grayed out overlay on your screen. And your cursor turns into this plus sign. So what I use it for, I can actually grab part of the screen. So this is really handy when I'm doing things like newspaper cuttings and I want to clip part of the screen. And the reason I like grabbing the bit at the top is now in the image, I've got the name of the newspaper, the date. So I've got my provenance or my source information captured right in the image. And this snipping tool lets me save it out as a JPEG. So the nice thing is it will allow me to save it out in a graphic, a picture format. So if I just do test screenshot Hello. and I'll save that. So that's one way to do the screenshot is using the built-in Windows tool, but there are other ways. So if I press print screen, it copies the entire contents of my screen to the clipboard. And if I now go into Microsoft Word and I have a Word document set up and I paste that information in. So I can either do that by going to my home menu and clicking paste or pressing control V, which is the shortcut. It pastes that screen capture into the Word document. So I can crop this picture and I could take away the bits that I don't want. And the nice thing is, once I finished cropping the picture, I could save this as a separate file. So if I right click this image, you notice there's a save as picture option. So I can actually then save this as a separate file. And I like that option because a lot of times, yes, it's great that you can just paste it into a Word document, but I want to save it as a picture, as a graphic file so that I can reuse it later. And you are able to do that right within Word. The other feature that I want to show you, Word, the newer versions, has the ability to get a screen capture directly from within your Word document. So if I go to this insert menu and if I go to this screenshot command and click the little drop down, 
I could just select from the images of everything I have open here. I could, for instance, select that item and it gives me the screenshot. Similarly, I could right click and save that screenshot as a picture. But what I can also do from within Word, which is really handy, I can go back to this screenshot option. And if I do this screen clipping, it takes me to the window that's currently open, which was that article. And it allows me to actually do just a clipping and insert it. And I can then right click that and save it as a picture in JPEG format. And I'll put it in the screenshots folder. So I'll call this word partial clipping. So that's really handy. Now, that's on the Windows PC. And there are other third party programs that do similar kinds of things. But what I'm going to show you right now, how to do that same thing on an iPad. So I have an older iPad. It's got what they call this home button at the bottom. And then there's the power off or wake up button at the very top edge of the iPad. So the trick for doing a screen capture on an iPad is actually to hold down the home button and the wake up button at the same time. And it's literally just click the two and then release, kind of like you were taking a picture on an old fashioned camera and you just click the shutter. So what I'm going to do right now is stop the screen share on my PC and switch to sharing on my iPad. So I'm now sharing my iPad screen. And if we go to my browser, I have the British Newspaper Archive website up. And let's say I want to take a picture of my screen on the iPad. So I would click the home and the power buttons at the same time. Click release. And it takes a little picture you see in the lower left corner of my screen. And I could do it a second time. Click release. There's my picture. If I now go to my Photos app, which is this colorful flower symbol on the iPad, you will see on the left hand side, there is a folder called screenshots, which is highlighted the third item down. And inside are those two screen captures that I just did. So when you do a screen capture on the iPad, they are automatically placed in this folder called screenshots. And if I was to touch one of those items to bring it up, and you'll notice in the top right hand corner of the screen, there is the word edit. And if I touch that edit link, I now have the ability to crop this image. So again, we see a number of different symbols on the screen. On the left hand side, the third symbol down has these directional arrows. If I touch that symbol, you'll see it now has a yellow dot below it. And this image on the screen now has little picture frame corners. And I can use those, just drag them to resize and crop this image however I want. So if I crop it down, 
to just this column of marriages and deaths. And then I click done. I now have a cropped version of that screen capture. And if I go back to my list of photos, you can see the original screenshot full size on the left and my cropped version on the right. Now, one other thing I'd like to show you, although most of the photos I scan in are done with a flatbed scanner attached to my computer, I did have a situation where the scanner wasn't working. So instead, I took pictures of the photos with my iPad or cell phone. And of course, the images don't turn out quite as nicely as they would when I scanned them in with my flatbed scanner. So here's an example. If I just click on this photo, here's an example of what happened when I was in a hurry and I was taking a picture of a photo. And I wanted to crop this photo just to show my grandfather and myself. So here's what you can do if I touch the edit button. And first, I have to rotate this photo. So I'll touch the third symbol on the left hand side. And I'm going to rotate by touching the little symbol at the top of the screen, the square, with the little arrow. So I've now rotated this photo. And it's got those picture frame corners. I'm just going to reframe this photo and crop out the bits I don't want. And I think I'm going to do it a little bit more, just get rid of most of that white noise. So I'll recrop it. So this is now my new cropped photo. I hope you enjoyed this week's video on screen capture tips. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.